Hello everyone, my name is Koya Tuberkuber and this is one of the testimonial videos for the uh, semantic SEO course that I will publishing. I already actually look like a little bit tired. And I can tell that actually in in last four days, probably I have spoken more than, if I also include the business, I have spoken more than probably like 40 hours and 15 hours of that actually has been spent on training this dear friend who comes from really, really far away, let's say and uh, he was actually emailing over one year and I, I can also tell that it was an opportunity for me to test the course material one more time before launching it because the biggest risk from my point of view is publishing it uh, in a non-simple way i already have 55 hours of university that waits for you but it will come later for the simple version i need to test it one more time and in four days in 15 hours I believe we made some progress and now I will be asking a few questions to do our student here and he will be telling things in a honest way. So the first question is that uh, how hard it is without uh, any kinds of exaggeration. Can you tell it? Absolutely. So first, <laughs> thank you for having me after a year of emailing. <laughs> uh, much appreciated with that. I think you spend, uh, for coming all this way for just SEO, for the love of SEO. So it means yeah. a lot for us. Yeah, and... so um, you asked it, if it is complicated and I can tell that it is complicated. Mm -hmm. um, I would have seen that maybe in, in a book or in your case studies, not in a book, but in case studies and you could read the patterns and whatever when you are alone. But um, yeah, reading your case studies always was like giving me a very hard time because but well, you I... have seen the kitchen right now yeah. <laughs> and i i remember that in the first night we have talked about a little bit of minor theories mm. and i guess it was educational and it was giving a system but at the second night it was really hard yeah. for the second day why it was so hard do you think at the second day you know the first day i was super excited like meeting you and learning <laughs> all you. this stuff um from scratch like finally getting a, a peek behind the curtains mm -hmm. um, then we started the theory theory was really deep and after the first it night it was surface of surface right okay <laughs> yeah for you it was surface of surface because you do it for so many years right yeah. um, for somebody that does this as a as a side business uh, yeah. this I mean blogging to be very specific um, who does this as a side business it is pretty deep and I was afraid after the first day and then the the second night we we spent working together and you explained me further um, topical map creation topical map creation yes sub parts of it yeah, yeah correct um, when we went through topical map creation and how important all of these small ingredients are and um, as as your your other um, student said in another video that mm -hmm. there is so many moving parts and that you are doing this with the holistic approach um, this hit me really in the face, what means holistic approach, because you have to understand all of these moving parts. So for me, the second night was very uh, frustrating at the beginning, but after doing this second night, and every growth hurts, right? After doing this second night, I was ready to digest that the very next day. And digesting what you were teaching me um, was really important. And again, looking at the documents and you provide templates and everything. Mm -hmm. So that really helped me the next day with the fresh mind, fresh head um, yeah. and, and a little bit of walking and coming back to the material. Yeah, you were very much more positive uh, yeah. day after that, I can tell. Yeah, so and, that, that really helped. And after that, I guess you had started to realize that uh, there is a pattern and system there and it relies on actually highly scientific and reasoning uh, methods or it relies on a really deep logic actually everything is connected to another thing every paragraph every column every list or list item every anchor text nothing is random and everything is actually uh, designed uh, inside the system and how would you describe it do you think that it makes sense do you think that you actually understood the most of these things here and how do you feel about it saying that i understood everything would uh would definitely lead too far <laughs> so i i would still have questions but i asked you for a cooking recipe when i got here you remember right yeah so today after after four sessions with you uh, and thank you for taking all this time after four sessions with you uh, i wrote down a cooking recipe that you confirmed me is the correct mm -hmm. way to do it because 
like a pilot that flies a plane if there is no checklist people die right yeah in SEO is the same thing if you don't have a checklist of how to do the things um you're you will not succeed with your content and yeah that's what i have so i can tell after four days after you explaining me from the basic first theory then you go deeper and then you actually did the work with and we have written right. actually yeah. we have written article templates together yeah. brief templates together by checking multiple competitors scraping sitemaps of competitors yeah. we even talk about actually macro context micro context or how we should actually shape the questions or what kinds of answers should be coming after what kinds of headings or how the attributes of the products let's say they can be ordered or when we should be giving sentiments and when we should be not giving. And I believe in the last day, once we start to write the article with the concrete templates in a, a applicable way, I guess it was the most clear moment for you to see all the picture for all the possible entities or the, all the possible topical maps and the competitors. Not only that, even far beyond that, um, yeah. <laughs> you realize maybe how much I enjoyed yeah. doing that uh, <laughs> because i started taking away your keyboard from you and you know, stuff <laughs> myself yeah because... i was able to drink the coffee thanks <laughs> yeah. to that thing. <laughs> yeah so um i really enjoyed that that process and now i really feel like ready to do that on my own and as i yeah. told you you gave me the the recipe to not produce much better content but to produce three or four hundred articles by using variables and techniques that i can implement now to produce really uh, a big amount of articles in a high quality that i thought is is not possible before so that really helped um, okay. but as every growth it was painful in the beginning because it's something new and it's a learning curve yeah. and uh, depending on your level so to anybody else who, who will take the course in the future um, i can straight honestly tell you learning this will pay off in the sense of give it a little bit of time and digest what you learn. Don't get frustrated after you see the first patterns whatsoever. Just believe in learning further and everything will make sense at the moment when you start writing because you will realize how different you write and how much more content you can generate. You also, I believe, realize that uh, why I call it semantic content network because inside a network, we create a graph with the form of text, but it's also not like text because we don't write in a, or create the content in a random way. We basically order things, connect things in a really clear and scientific way, in a provable, yeah. tangible, concrete way. And it's like not leaving a search engine besides ranking you because wherever they look from, you will be still there with high relevance and high responsiveness. So uh, with that said, yeah. I can tell that I believe you will be, I can tell that actually you will be definitely successful. I feel that. <laughs> and uh, just to add something to what you, what you just said, I mean, um, you, you say what semantic and <coughs> topical maps are and so on. Mm -hmm. um, even if you did never do any research uh, as a student or a future student of Korai, uh, even if you did never do any, any research or whatsoever, it will all make sense so you don't have to be afraid if you never study yeah. or something um, it's maybe much easier as well because then I will ask one more touch. thing sorry for yeah, interrupting sure. so I always tell two things people because they always saw tool minded tool focused for example in our sessions I told that tools are for observing not for obeying and I also told that I asked at even some place that do you understand now why there is no automation here yeah. Because GPT three or other things, they can't write or create content as we do here. It's it's not possible for them because they go gibberish directly. Absolutely. What do you think about it? Because they will need these words, I believe. From yeah. You. So the more AI tools come to the market, the the more <laughs> I think uh, people are wasting money. Um, I studied business uh, information systems and i know what these tools can do and what this technology can do and it's not mature enough yet to to do anything sensible so producing gibberish on scale still means producing gibberish um it's not gonna help to yeah. rank and search engines are not stupid um, it will never get to the detail level of that what you do um, so I can highly recommend not using any of these uh, AI tools, uh, but rather 
using the semantic approach. And it actually blew my mind that you, I mean, you would have uh, in a typical SEO agency, for example, you would use SEMrush, Ahrefs and all oh, of these yeah, fancy that part tools, is right? Too. And um, I just realized you don't need any of that. Um, and you also have seen it. I didn't, I once even I didn't use them actually. I just used the logic, reasoning and yeah. context understanding there. That of course the tools sometimes they give, uh, for a few times actually we checked the Ahrefs a little. Mm. So, uh, or some others, no, no problem for mentioning some of the uh, names there. Yeah. But uh, even if we wouldn't check these two, it wouldn't create a difference that much, like no, 5% absolutely. or something yeah. like that. Absolutely not. So um, if you don't have any subscriptions to all of these tools, you are not missing out on anything, right? Yeah. Um, so you can still do a great job building your semantic networks and start uh, with the full <coughs> advantage everybody else has. And actually, I think it's only confusing if you use these tools because it will distract you from from the momentum. Uh, when I watched how you are writing and when I, uh, on the third day, started writing myself and expanding the topical map, um, I, I thought like, okay, not using a tool is giving me much more speed to do that stuff. Yes, so it's definitely. just distracting and costs uh, a lot of money. Okay. So thank you for all these things. I believe it will be helpful for everyone and also I want to thank uh, too because while giving, taking uh, all this road, I can tell that actually it was good to be able to explain these things one more time. Uh, also, I can tell it to uh, one of the names uh, probably won't be hidden that much when I publish that. The first person that I have trained face to face, it was uh, Dean, Dean Scaduto. I'm not good at pronouncing last names that much, but I see him as a friend right now. I really like his his closeness, uh, I can tell that despite we are from different cultures, uh, when we are together, we are like same nation with him. And probably in the future, I will be in Vietnam. He will be coming there even. Uh, I'm excited for that. And I am sure that I will be seeing in many, many places too. So whenever SEO gives me a new friend, it makes them more motivated. Maybe it's a little bit, a little bit also harmful uh, in, in the future facilities, because whenever I focus on friendship, the business side things uh, go a little bit different. We found action. a good fit yeah. in doing business, so yeah, definitely. Uh, you switched immediately after being yeah. to, to business mode. And I can also be thankful too because once you, I see that you start to understand and do that and once you take this keyword from me, it was the moment that actually I am relieved and it was uh, the feeling of success for me. And I believe, uh, thanks to you, the course will be coming with a better experienced teacher and it will be better for community too. So you are helping them as well. And thank you for that. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you.